the EKG may have not done very well, or there's some problem with the, maybe the fish was very stressed or it took a long time to die. So that's why there's blood um, mm. left. If you look at the difference in color, oh. a fishmonger who's done it their whole life, maybe you can tell sometimes, but sometimes there's no way to know. Like for this so, one, if we needed to serve like 10 people otsukuri with this hamo, yeah. maybe we would choose a different fish and then use this for yakimono instead, because yakimono, mm. you won't see the blood. You'll put tare. This is very good. This is perfect. This is actually kind yeah. of rare. Usually in the tail, you always see a little bit of blood because the wire doesn't go all the way through. The hole's too small at the tail. So the wire only goes to like here when they do the shikinuki. And then usually at the tail, there's blood. In Must Iomatsuri be. in July, that's when hamu is the most expensive. Um, it's like $8,000 a kilo. Well, it's popular? Yeah, really, really popular. Mm. And then you don't know what, you know, maybe, you know, every year, okay, July, yeah. hamu is going to be expensive. Then, you know, April, it's not so expensive. But then you don't know what the ocean has. Well, so you don't know that. if <laughs> you're going to have a lot of hamu. Sometimes they have like a huge amount of hamo in February and nobody wants to eat hamo in February but they have so oh, much so they'll give us for like a thousand dollars a kilo a uh, thousand yen a kilo that's cheaper yeah yeah but Good. we can't really put it on the menu because it's not season yeah for kaiseki it's not the season even though it yeah. is the season yeah, yeah because yeah. they're in the ocean if they're in the ocean right it's the season that's the right time but uh you know it's not traditional well, we i guess